It's a bit of a gamble being an artist, really. You know it's going to be hard. It's not an easy road, you know, at all, because you've chosen a path which you won't have much money necessarily. You know, you'd be quite broke most of the time, but it's still imperative to paint. And luckily I did start selling my paintings and started winning prizes and things started getting better. I paint about my own feelings and what really moves me. It's a very difficult thing to describe really, how the painting process takes place. A lot of artists are really taken up with the whole technical thing of it. With me, it sort of comes almost as a surge. It's like a kind of need to do it, really. And I paint about people and emotions and things that are happening in the family and things that really move me and um, relationships. They're quite personal, I think. I think my paintings are quite personal. They are about my own personal life in the house, in the home, and being connected very much with the studio being so near the home. What's great about having a painting, and I always felt it was very important to paint and be fulfilling myself while I had children, even though I was always there for them in after tea, you know, when after school I'd be in there in the house for them and I was always a mother that was there. I didn't go out to work when they were little. To me painting was a vital thing to do. It was absolutely essential that I carry on with my own creativity. So that when they did leave home, when they did leave, I would have that. I would have that and that would be something that would make me overcome because you dedicate like 20 years to a child and then they leave and then you could be just left feeling you know the empty nest syndrome which a lot of mothers do feel. And I did feel that, I did feel it but then I painted about it you see. I did paint about it. It is, it is very sad when you lose your kids but you have to let them go and you have to let them reject you really in a sense which is what they slowly learn to do, and then they come back to you when they've had children. A psychological aspect of painting I'm very interested in. I'm interested in the sort of human condition, really, the, the psychological things that go on in, with people, the relationships between people, the distances between people, what they express and what they don't express. And in a painting, you can sort of do it almost like a tableau. So it's, it's almost like a big theatre scene, really, to me. I always see it, you know, scale like a painting like this. You can really sort of get your, to grips with the relationship between the people, and it's sort of, and they build up and they become, they become what they want to become, really, in the paintings.